guests are all set to make a special pledge for a very special delivery. Please welcome Dean and Lucy from Reading. Hi, Lucy. Hello. Hi, Dean. Hello. So, what do you guys want to achieve by this time next year? This time next year, we would like a baby. How long have you guys been together? Um, been together five years. Um, and been married for three. Mm -hmm. And when did you start trying? Um, literally just before we got married. So yeah. we've been trying for three years as well. When did you think, right, hang on a minute, this isn't happening, we might need a bit of extra help? We went to the GP and just said, like, we've been trying, it's not working, can we start having some investigations? Everything was normal, absolutely fine. So that's quite confusing, isn't it, then? It's, it's the worst thing, not having a reason. Because at least if there's a reason, you can kind of fix it. You can sort yeah. of fix the reason, yeah. Because yeah. I'm an engineer, so I'm used to solving problems <laughs> and it's out of my control. They don't know, so they don't know what to do to change it. And what do you do for a living? I'm a paediatric nurse. So all day you're looking at babies? Yeah. It's tough sometimes. So how's it been trying to get IVF? It started quite easily. We got funded our first round of NHS IVF. It worked. I was pregnant with twins and then I lost one at eight weeks. Um, we were disappointed, wasn't we? Yeah, but... You have to be optimistic because you've, you've still got a baby. So we, you know, we saw the heartbeat, the arms, the legs, the head. Oh, no. Everything. We got really excited and then we went for the 12-week scan and it all just stopped. Really oh, quickly. Oh, that must have been mm. terrible. Yeah. We went straight ahead, didn't we, on our yeah. second second IVF? It was it was over before it started, really, wasn't yeah, it? The it second go. It just didn't work, did it? I got quite poorly. Then we did it again. We changed a few things, didn't we? I swapped my shifts, so I stopped doing nights. It failed again. The third go failed. Well, so what can you do? We just got to keep going and keep, keep going, going and keep going. He said, "You just get, at one point keep rolling the dice. It's rolling the dice, and at one point you'll roll a dice and you'll get what you want." This is private now, so it's the cost is all it's on ourselves. It's costing you, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's expensive. What would it mean to you both to walk back through those doors with a baby in a year's time? To think by this time next year that we could have a baby, it'd be amazing. I just feel like a part of me is missing, mm. and that's what I think the baby is. Um, so, Lucy and Dean, very, very good luck. By this time next year, you'll have a baby. Thank, Thank you. you. So, after leaving the studio, Dean and Lucy had their fourth round of IVF. Let's take a look at how they got on. Just had uh, two embryos transferred, so now begins a two-week wait. So, some Wally on YouTube told me that you should keep your feet warm and eat lots of pineapple. So, I'm wearing three pairs of socks and I hate pineapple. So, it's test day. It's just gone there. Uh... Half four in the morning. I'm just waiting for it to um, come back in now with some news. Oh. <laughs> so after all the heartbreaking losses, will Dean and Lucy finally have the baby they want so badly? I really hope they will. Sit down. Um, so, guys, who is this? So this is baby Leo. He was uh, four weeks today, and he was uh, seven weeks early, weighing four pound fifteen. Oh, congratulations! <laughs> well, that 
that is like, oh, I quite like the white noise of clapping. Yeah. Before I ask you any questions, I've got a clip of the day that Leo arrived. So let's take a look. It's been a very, very eventful 24 hours with a Hollywood movie style waters breaking in the middle of the cafe. But we now have a baby. Due to him being seven weeks premature, he's in this special care baby unit. Fingers crossed he's all OK. We're pleased to announce that we've got a little baby boy called Leo. Oh, hello. He's opened his eyes. So he's Hi. very excited to meet Davina. Aren't you, little man? Yeah. <laughs> what are all the lights? <laughs> that, can I quickly just say, what you just said about the Hollywood-style <laughs> waters breaking, <laughs> was it epic? Yeah, it was epic. <laughs> it was really, really epic. Like, cos they'd said that my waters had already gone, so I wasn't expecting it at all. Sat there, just eating a tuna baguette. And it, yeah, was everywhere. <laughs> oh, God. That's it, like, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I know, my mum had to and clean up. And were you up. frightened? Cos did you think, oh, my goodness, like, is this... is. It was just really bizarre, wasn't it? Because they kept saying, you're just not in labour, you're not in labour, don't worry about it, we'll keep the baby in there for a couple more weeks. But he just wasn't staying in, he just kept coming. Yeah, Leo, <laughs> it's a good strong name, Leo, because yeah. he's like, that's, that's I'm not right. waiting. Yeah, yeah, that's why we picked it. And so, you know, obviously you are a paediatric nurse, so this is, like, what you do. Yeah. Was that hard? Because, in a way, you sort of want to treat him as a nurse, but you've got to let other people... Yeah, it was... ..help you. You went up there, didn't you, the first day, and they wrote everything, like, medical down and was like, this is what Lucy's going to want to know. Oh. But I was just forgot everything working and... Yeah. Like, it was just... Yeah, I couldn't dress him the first day. I was shaking. I was like, yeah. what am I doing? I can do this. But yes. It's completely different. Has it all been worth it? Yeah. 100%. Yes. 100%. 100%. Yeah. It's worth everything. It's so lovely, after everything that you've been through, to see you here with your, your baby son. So congratulations. Thank you. I personally am very glad he came early, cos I got to meet him. Yeah. So, <laughs> so well done, guys. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to come and see you. Um, so, Dean and Lucy, thank you. Thank you.